Hello fellow informers, this is Hal Kuhn and uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Google SketchUp in order to trace out using PhotoMatch uh, the backgrounds of the Final Fantasy 7. Uh, this is going to be a benefit for people who want to work on the bombing run little uh, project that's going on in the forums there and uh, I'm gonna kinda teach you how I sort of trace everything out and you can kinda do the same thing. Now keep in mind this is not a beginner's tutorial this is sort of a halfway uh, moderate to advanced tutorial on how to do perspective and such but I'll try and keep it as easy as possible. Um, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna tell you if you wanna learn how to do SketchUp and you wanna kinda learn this but you do not know how to do SketchUp uh, fear not if you go to YouTube right here and you look for this particular person's channel or do a Google SketchUp, uh, do a search for Google SketchUp for Dummies, you will get the video series of uh, SketchUp for Dummies which will teach you how to use Google SketchUp. I used it myself and um, this is what I used in order to learn how to do SketchUp. Uh, the videos actually start in chapter 2 but don't worry about it. It's uh, The first chapter is usually about uh, is actually in the book and it teaches you how what perspective and 3D is. It's not really that required. You can go ahead and jump or get your feet right wet by jumping right into chapter 2 and it's really straightforward and real easy. I'll move this out of the way here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the photo match system in order to uh, do uh, in order to learn how to uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to use Photo Match in order to teach you guys how to use the uh, uh, system to make the backgrounds. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove Bryce here. Plunk. And what we're going to do first is I actually already have the Photo Match uh, utility open. You, you actually access this by going to Window and Match Photo, and it'll pop open this window, and that's what I've done here. And we're going to go ahead and match a photo here. This is going to be part of the bombing run. So there's our background right there. Open that up, and ta-da! Here is our uh, background. Now you don't really need to know a lot about what these lines and things do. Um, it's basically perspective uh, hints to help you kind of understand where the vanishing points are and where the horizon is. Um, this is kind of irrelevant unless you're doing a really really advanced stuff. Because this is a very simple map all we really need to do is just match the green lines perpendicular to the red lines. That's really it. So and it's very 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 simple so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab this green line here and you're going to notice that when I do this it sort of warps the perspective in different directions when I, when I turn it that's perfectly normal because what it's doing is it's trying to recalculate where the vanishing points are and where the camera is located based on where I'm putting it so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and match this along one of the lines now lucky for us it has a tiled floor and the tiled floor is straight so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green bar here and I'm going to align this to one of the tiles, the trial, the, 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 the trial uh, side there. Um, I'm also going to align it here as well. And I'm going to take another one of these little green handles, and I'm going to go ahead and align that one too along one of the uh, along one of the tile edges. So here we go. I'm aligning it to the tile edge, and this side this is also aligned to the tile edge. This is that's really good. And what I'm going to do with the red ones now is I need to make the red ones perpendicular to the green ones. Um, it's kind of showing that you know these are going in the opposite direction. I'm going to take a red one here and I'm going to go ahead and lie this down against one of the other edges of the tiles going in this direction. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this up and align that. You, for, you want to pull the tiles, these lines out as, as far as possible because it allows you with a very, uh, it allows you to get very fine control over the perspective and I'm going to take this one here and move this one and then you're going to watch the magic happen. I'm going to go ahead and take this red one here I'm going to align it against the roof up here and as soon as it starts aligning up you'll notice that the things start folding and start pulling back in the shape here so I'm going to go ahead and do this until my x-axis is perpendicular which it is and then I have my x and y z and you'll notice that now everything seems to be more or less aligned uh, with the um, scene. So everything seems okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my origin, which is this yellow thing, and I'm going to go ahead and align that to a part of the of the background. So I'm going to grab this little thing and I'm going to align it right here. And that's that's really quite awesome because you can see it follows the line here and it follows the line down here. And let me just go ahead and pan out a little bit just to see if I got this right. And look, it does actually follows that line pretty pretty closely up there which has I'm, I'm pretty happy with this placement so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to photo match and I'm gonna tell it that I'm done 